monitor calibration is an essential part of any color managed workflow. Having a monitor that's capable of displaying the full range of your image is only part of an accurate viewing environment. A good way to think of this would be if you were grading an image on a display that does not correctly represent the color or gamma, then the rendered result will differ from what you're expecting and may well contain out of range values. For example, if the monitor I was grading on had a blue tint, I may go with a warmer grade so that it looks accurate when displayed during the mastering process. But as soon as I deliver this to my chosen medium, whether it be broadcast, cinema or online platforms, anybody who watches my video on a monitor that has a slight tint towards red will get an image that's too warm. In order to maintain the best possible viewing experience for the consumer, you want to ensure your output is as accurate as possible. As an additional note, and this is particularly if you're delivering for broadcast or cinema, Failing to accurately monitor your image during the mastering process can lead to errors that we flagged during the QC process. Monitor calibration can feel like a confusing and very technical aspect, but in its simplest form, you would output a series of solid colours or patches to your reference monitor. These will then be monitored by a probe, which is a sensor device that detects each standardised patch and gives a value for it. The software driving the probe then compares the values given by the probe to the expected values for the patches and generates a profile or LUT to account for these differences. When calibrating, you always want your display to match the medium you are delivering for. For example, delivering for broadcast would require a monitor calibrated to the Rec. 709 colour space with a gamma of 2.4. It's worth noting that traditionally most computer displays have not operated at the colour critical tolerances or specifications required for broadcast or theatrical delivery. However, this has changed and the most prominent in this evolving space are the Asus ProArt range. If you've not seen our earlier videos on these displays, then I'd definitely recommend watching them to get a deeper dive on the specification for those monitors. But with all of them having 100% coverage of the sRGB and Rec. 709 colour spaces, and some with up to 99% coverage of the P3 space for theatrical grading, they are a fantastic, affordable reference display. Some of the higher end models, such as the PA32UCK or the PA32UCXPK, also come with an X-Ray i1 Display Pro Calibration Probe. To add to the inclusion of a calibration probe, Asus also provide their ProArt calibration software which allows users to easily calibrate their ProArt displays with simple choices for colour gamut, EOTF and colour temperature. Asus have also worked closely with both Calman and Light Illusion Colour Space CMS, the industry's two leading display calibration applications to provide fully integrated display calibration. This tight integration with industry standard applications makes the ProArt range a serious competitor in the space for affordable colour grading displays. With more and more of us having to wear different hats during production and post-production, editors and videographers are now finding themselves doing more and more colour correction and grading in applications like Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve has integrated support for both Light Illusion's Lightspace CMS and Portrait Display's Calman calibration software. Having a calibrated display isn't the only requirement for certain deliveries. In fact, there are different standards for both broadcast and theatrical deliveries. Ideally, the consumer's home viewing environment would match the colorist's reference viewing environment, although for many reasons this isn't the case. Grading suites tend to follow some strict practices to ensure that their deliveries are of the highest possible quality. The two most common elements of a grading suite are the lighting used within the room and the paint. Ambient lighting can influence our brain's perception of color, and as natural lighting changes throughout the day, how we perceive an image can depend on the time of day we are viewing it, unless we use controlled lighting. To add to this, for any lighting we do have in our suite, we want to ensure that they have a 6500 Kelvin colour temperature if we are delivering for web and broadcast, as this corresponds to the D65 white point used by most common standards. As a final note in lighting, not all bulbs are equal in how they affect our perception of colour. Lighting within professional video applications is measured against certain standards, like CRI, Color Rendering Index, or TLCI, Television Lighting Consistency Index. These standards measure how accurate a light source is when rendering colours. A low quality light source can cause colour reproduction to be vastly inaccurate. 
As I mentioned earlier, even the paint on the walls of your suite can affect your perception of colours. For this reason, it's recommended that you use 18% neutral grey paint. Again, our perception of colour can be altered by our environment, so if the walls of the suite are painted one colour, we will see less of that colour in our image, causing a skewed final result. Grey walls can serve as a neutral point from which we can establish a baseline for brightness and colour. I hope this has helped you understand a bit more about colour calibration and accurate viewing environments. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to contact the ScanPro video team.